Alrighty, alrighty, I am live, okay, whatever. <laughs> so, Pastor, what are you talking about? Well, I plan to go live at 1221 this afternoon, and it didn't happen. Mm. Got my tea here, so I just said, look, let me just go for it. You know, I'm, I'm training a group of people on Facebook Live. Hey, what's up, Steph? So if you saw a notification that I was going on and wondered what happened, well, I'll tell you about it. You ever have one of those days when things don't go according to plan? Don't worry about it. Rest and just flow. Go with the flow. And everything going to be all right. Yeah, I'm training some people, some entrepreneurs, and tell, telling them about the importance of video and uh, posting video on their pages. So I'm helping them with their Facebook pages, their Facebook business page, and going live and getting in front of the camera and overcoming fear and just getting past all that. Sometimes you just got to, boom, press the button. And even when your finger is over the button, when you're starting off and you're, you're doing live video, you your finger might be dripping with sweat <laughs> before you press that button. <laughs> and your live is out there. Everybody can see it. All right. Well, anyways, um, I'm going to do a, a quick one today. What I... What happened with me was 1221, okay, I scheduled it to go on, so I was just um, waiting to go on, just doing some things and uh, before I went on, and then all of a sudden, I got a phone call, and like I recognized the number, like, oops, so it was, uh, I communicate with, and this is really the favor of God, that Facebook marketing expert, somebody who actually works with Facebook, assists me on Facebook advertising for my uh, for one particular client that I have. And so that's pretty cool. And I've had several calls with this guy and they're really important. And I knew about it last night. Actually, I had some stuff ready to go. And but he, he caught me off guard. I wasn't prepared. I, I, I didn't have all my, usually I, to be prepared for the call, I need to have the Facebook ad manager up. And usually I'm ready for him, but it's just like, oops. <laughs> but I had already scheduled. He called, I think it, our appointment was 12.15. I scheduled a live for 12.21. So that just threw me off. And yet, here I am, two hours later, almost, from when I wanted to go on, but I'm here. So I just decided, let me just go in. I didn't schedule this one. I'm just going live to see who I can catch. So, anywho, if you care to say who you, who you is, who you are, um, we got Stephanie here. Anybody else care to comment? Anybody joining me, thanks so much. I want to talk about the power of the name of Jesus. You ever heard of the name of Jesus? People use that at the end of the prayer. They speak things in the name of Jesus, speak things into existence in the name of Jesus, and we should do all of that. Praying over your meals in Jesus' name. Um, Hey, Donna. All right. Hey, Steph. Thank you so much for, I've uh, got two Stephanies and spelled differently, it looks like. Stephanie. Yeah. But, um, okay. So, thanks for joining me. Thanks, Stephanie, for your encouragement. It's good to know that somebody's getting benefit from this, but um, sometimes things can get watered down a little bit 
and, and, and I need to be reminded myself because this will be a blessing to me and I need to keep reminding myself because if you've, particularly if you've been a Christian for a while, you know about the name of Jesus, right? You, you, you use it and, and sometimes you say it without thinking. And it's, and it's good that it's a habit. It's, it's good that um, just subconsciously, I mean, we, we, we speak it and it's, it's just a part of our lifestyle, which is very cool. But what I don't want, I don't want us to lose the power, the, the power that's behind that name. Um, man, resurrection power is behind that name. Okay. Uh, what 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 God has done in the name of Jesus is He has given the church the power of attorney. And I heard somebody say this, um, if I can remember what the quote was, but it's something like this: Somebody asked this attorney, um, "What is the value of the power of attorney?" when somebody gives you the power of attorney to conduct business on their behalf, okay? So, what's up, Kurt? So they asked this attorney, well, what's the value of this power of attorney? Well, he said, it depends on the, the power that's in back of it. So, what's what is the, what are the resources? What's in back of that name? What's, what is all in that name? Okay. Like if somebody is, a, it, it, it is, they give you power of attorney over their estate and, and there's only $5. Well, there's not much you can do. There's no, there's no power in back of it. There's no weight. But let's say somebody gives you, they got a $5 billion estate and they give you the power of attorney to conduct business. Well, then, okay, now now we're talking. Because now you can do a lot. There's a lot of room there. You can go, you can go on a shopping spree. <laughs> you can do a lot of things. You can help people. You can give to ministries. You have, you have the power of attorney to do what you want. Okay, so... All things are ours in Christ. He who did not spare his own son, but delivered them up from, for us all, how will he not with him freely give us all things? Okay, so, and, and, and Jesus left the earth and he, he, and he left and he gave the church the, the power to use his name, the, the right and the privilege that whatever we bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever we loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Ask and you will receive that your joy uh, uh, may be full. Let me show you the scripture here in uh, ask that you may receive that your joy may be full. That's John 16, 24. And the previous verse says, and in that day, this is the day that we're living in, this day of the new covenant, you will ask me nothing. Most assuredly, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name. Now, this is no small thing, people. And we, we can... We can just like kind of go over scripture. It's not how much scripture you read and, and, and study. Sometimes you can just, sometimes it's good to just look at one verse. I do this a lot. I'll, I'll, I'll look and I'll just marinate it. Okay, bake it, cook it, smoke it, <laughs> fry it, saute it. <laughs> just go over and just roll that thing over in my mind. Um, Cause look at look at just look at this like you never looked at it before. So in this day right now, twenty nineteen, we will ask him nothing. Jesus said, because see, we are we we are loved with the same love that the Father loved Jesus with. 
Okay, Jesus, in other words, Jesus said in the, actually the very next chapter that he loves us as much as he loves Jesus. He prayed that, that, that we would, that, that, that the world would see that he loves us with the same passionate love that he loves Jesus with, okay? So in this day of the new covenant, he said, you will ask me nothing. We can go to the Father in his name. Most assuredly, I say to you, whatever, you, whatever, whatever, whatever. What do you need today? What do you need to happen for you today? What do you need manifest in your life? Do you know that there is power that you are packing? You have a name. You not only have the power, the same power to raise Jesus from the dead in you, you have the authority to use his name that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. In the 14th chapter, it talks about and and um, whatever you ask in my name, he will give you. Now that's something else um, that's really talking about demanding something. That's not talking. In John 14, that's not dealing with prayer. Okay, see, that, that's talking about using your authority uh, in Jesus' name. And uh, the scripture references John chapter 14, 13, and 14. And uh, if you compare the two, you'll see that in John 14, 13, it's not talking about, looking at it now, whatever you uh, ask in my name. Now it says ask, but it doesn't say ask the Father. And the word ask means to demand, demand something due. See, there, the demand something due, something that's due to us because of the finished work of Jesus on the cross. Um, he said, whatever you demand in my name, he'll do. So you can demand in Jesus' name and he'll do it. Now, some people, they, they have a hissy fit over that, religious people. They say, well, you just can't just, God is sovereign. And you just can't make God do something. Listen, we're not making God do anything. He's already done it. Okay, he's already done it. So you're not making him do anything. God is sovereign. I mean, what does that mean? People throw these words, well, God is sovereign. I mean, that means God's in control. That's all that means. He's in control. And God who is in control gave us authority to use the name of Jesus. The God who is in control gave us all things. The God that's in control uh, sent Jesus to the cross and says that, that how will he not with him freely give us all things so all things will belong to us. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Now, now that we got the religious folks out the way, okay, we always got to help them people that they want. Oh, you just can't, you just can't make God do anything. We don't have, no, we can't make God do anything. He's already done it. God's already decided what he was going to do. And so who are you to say I can't be healed when God has already healed me? God's already decided to heal me. I don't have to make him heal me. He healed me on the cross. I don't have to make him bless me. He blessed me on the cross. I don't have to make him prosper me financially. He did that on the cross. So I can just go and I can command the money to come in in the name of Jesus. If I need finances, don't just sit around and think it's going to fall on you. Okay, I know we're in, we're under grace. We, we have the favor of God on us, but he's given us the authority to use his name. And I didn't plan to say all this stuff, but see, it's the there's power in back of that name. So, so what's the value of the power of returning? Well, it depends on what's in back of it. What's in back of that name? All of heaven. <laughs> Goodness, you got the power to move heaven and earth. So. You, got, you have the power to move mountains and just move those circumstances out of the way in Jesus' name. Now, I said all that to you, and that's just a, that's extra. That won't cost you anything. Isn't the word so good? Sweeter than, than, than honey to my lips. Now, think about this. I want you to, my assignment to you, should you choose to accept it, your mission is the next few times, let's say this week, when you say the name of Jesus. Don't just run through it. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. 
I want you to say it as slow as you can. In Jesus' name. Maybe not as slow as you can, but just say it with purpose, with, 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 I mean, you, you're thinking about it, you're meditating on it. In Jesus' name. And here's what, here's the thought that I want you to have when you say that. And I want to answer the question. What does it mean when you say in Jesus' name? Now, in light of the finished work of the cross, in light of God's unmerited, unearned, undeserved favor, it doesn't make any difference whether or not I'm asking the Father in Jesus' name, or that's prayer, John 16, or John 14, when I'm demanding something in Jesus' name. I see, I can command finances to come to me in Jesus' name. So just speak what you need in Jesus' name. But it's important to know what you mean when you say that. See? And I really didn't know. I mean, I before, before I understood and got a revelation of grace, as far as I knew, it was, okay, we've been given the power of attorney to use his name. Okay, I, 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 I had a piece of it. But I got a full revelation of it when I got a revelation of grace. Because when you say in Jesus' name, here's what it means. I'm going to say this, I'm going to let you go. When you're saying in Jesus' name that the results your, your, of your speaking or, or of your praying is not based on who you are or what you have done. The results are based on who Jesus is and what he has done. Woo! That's so nice. I'm going to say it twice. Y'all want me to say that again? Okay. Whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. So when we ask in, in Jesus' name, when we pray in Jesus' name. See, what we're doing, we're, we're putting our faith in the finished work of Jesus. And Jesus, our elder brother. See, we, we don't only have a God who's at the right hand of God. We have a man. There's one mediator. It's interesting that Timothy says there's one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. We have a man seated at the right hand of the Father. Who We, we, we don't have a high priest who cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities. In other words, He's not somebody who doesn't understand what we're going through, but he was on all points tempted like we are, yet without sin. So he's he's there uh, interceding or as a go-between between us and the Father. And so when we're praying in Jesus' name, and you know the Father loves Jesus, and we're accepted in the beloved, we're loved as much, as I said, as Jesus prayed, the Father loves us as much as he loves Jesus. And see, when we pray in Jesus' name, it is as if Jesus himself is doing the praying. Man, I'm, I'm getting excited up in here. So you can expect results, and it's not based on how you acted that day when you pray in Jesus' name. Hey, 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 Ash. So... It's not, it's not based on how, uh, what I'm doing, my, 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 my behavior, okay? It's based on my, it, 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 it's based on what, who Jesus is and what he has done. So your results in prayer, when you pray in Jesus' name, is, is not based on who you are or how you act. Your results are based on what are based on who who Jesus is and what He has done on the cross. I'll do it. I'll do you one better, Ash. I'm going to say it a third time. What it means to pray in Jesus' name, and I want you to. My assignment to you is this week. 
when you, whenever you say in Jesus' name, don't just blast through in Jesus' name. Just think about what you're doing. When you're praying in Jesus' name, when you, and I want you to think about something you need in your life, something you want to happen. Have something in mind that that you want. Do you, do you need finances? You need some extra finances. You need to pay a bill or whatever it is. Uh, you need something to manifest. Speak it. Two ways. You can speak it or you can pray in Jesus' name or just speak it because whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be loose in heaven. You can lose finances. You can lose resources, okay? And angels will go to work on your behalf. It's pretty powerful. Okay, so, and when you use the name of Jesus, when you speak something into existence, you, you get that thing you want, that you want to happen. You either speak it or pray it. And you use the name of Jesus. And say it slowly and think about what you're doing until it becomes a habit that when that then that now when you when you say the name of Jesus you know exactly what it means that your results are not based on who you are or what you have done the results are based on who Jesus is and what he has done on the cross he finished it And so you're not making, again, you're not making God do anything. He has already done it. He has already blessed you with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. He has given unto you all things that pertain to life and godliness. Do finances pertain to life? He's already given it to you. Again, I love this scripture in Romans 8, 32, I believe. He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How will he not? With him freely give us all things. Jesus came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. Enjoy your abundant life in Christ. And Use the name of Jesus, not religiously, but knowing exactly what you're saying when you speak that name. All right. Thanks for joining me today. I am so excited and glad you could take part. And please share if you would like to... Uh, Got to be careful how I do this because I heard Facebook is starting to shut people down. That They call it link bait, <laughs> engagement bait or something like that. Yeah, engagement bait where you're trying to tell people to like and share and all that kind of stuff. But let me just say pass it on to be a blessing to somebody. And if you know somebody who needs this, pass it on. Thanks for joining me today. Y'all have a great day.